Hey YouTube, Max here from Max Comptips, and today I'm going to be explaining to you what cash is. And here's a basic definition here on screen right now for you. Uh, I've just got to suck off Wikipedia. It says it is a component that transparently stores data so that future requests for the data can be served faster. Now you might not understand what that is. That's why I drew you this wonderful diagram. <laughs> Sorry for the horrible drawings here. Not very good with the mouse and drawing. But pretty much what cache is, is a temporary storage bin for data that's going to be reused, especially in web browsing. Now, depending on whether you're thinking about buying a hard drive and seeing how much cache it has, how much, how fast it is, if it's what size, L1, L2, L3, all this stuff, you might get a little confused. That's what I'm here for. So basically, what how cache works is your CPU will generally have information which is represented by all these squiggly lines. This is all your information. And it sends that through your RAM, your primary RAM, which would be your DDR, whatever, 3, or whatever you're using, your memory, your primary memory. And that processes that information, and then it goes to the hard drive where, depending on what you're doing, I don't know, if you're storing a file, if you're writing a file, whatever you're doing in the CPU, that's where it goes. But cache is for smaller files that the computer recognizes that it's going to reuse later in programs and functions. I don't know what you're doing, but like on web browsing, if it's an image on a website you always go to, it'll store that in the cache so next time you visit the website, it loads faster. Now, cache comes in three different levels, L1, L2, and L3, which is level 1, level 2, and level 3. Now, the difference between these is a little different than what you think. L1 is actually the fastest one you can have, and L3 is the slowest. But you think, oh, well, why would... I mean, it sounds like L1's the oldest, and now they have L2 and L3, which, why wouldn't they be faster? Well, I read up online, and this guy actually, I'm going to steal his um, an analogy, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, he had a very good point here. He said, imagine it as the cache is like you're eating food, and say you're on the couch. L1 would be like a bag of chips. It's instant, it's really fast, but it's very small, and you cannot hold a lot in it. It's just one small bag of chips. Now, L2 would be larger. It would be the kitchen. So imagine you're eating food and you need resources and it's in the kitchen. Now you're going to have to get up and go to the kitchen so it's going to be a little bit slower to get the data or the food in this case. But the kitchen is a lot larger, it can hold a lot more food. Now L3, which would be the basement or the cellar where you keep any extra food, that is humongous compared to the bag of chips in L1. It's a lot larger, it can hold a lot more information, data, or food in this case, and then you can go in there but it's going to take longer it's going to be slower. So that's probably the best analogy I can think of or that I stole offline, but I think it's the uh, the best one out there to help you understand. So basically, if you have L1 cache, that is your bag of chips. That is your instant, super fast, but you cannot hold a lot in it. So if there's more information that can't be held there, the computer moves it to L2. And L2 is like the kitchen, which is a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit slower. And if there's even more information needed to be carried, it goes to L3, which is the largest amount of cache or level of cache. It can hold the most, but it is the slowest out of all three of them. It is, but here's one thing that you need to understand and that I should have pointed out a little earlier. All of this cache runs faster than it would to the RAM. Now, instead of your CPU processing this information and going to the RAM, it would process it and it would cache it into your cache memory. I don't really know how to draw a uh, cache, but let's uh let's say where's that button? Let's say this is your cache. Oh let's not do that. Let's say this is your cache, okay? Looks really weird, I know. But this is gonna be your cache. Oh okay, now instead of your CPU processing this regular information through your RAM to your hard drive and displaying it on the screen eventually for you, which happens in split seconds by the way, um it'll put it in cache and now this cache over here, let's say it was you're on the uh, you're just processing some information and your computer recognizes it and it's like, oh, well, this comes up a lot and we need to cache it so that later when you're opening whatever, uh, whatever program or file, it can load it faster. Because cache, uh, whether it's L1, L2, or L3, terribly sorry for my writing there, I know it looks horrible, but these are the three levels of cache. No matter what it is, all three levels, L1, L2, and L3 are going to be faster than if your CPU processed it through the RAM and then to the hard drive. 
Now, both of these will end up getting you information, but your computer runs a lot faster since it's the same repeated files that are going through your system and it can just store them in the cache. Now, your cache is not going to be as large as your RAM. If you look up hard drives, you'll see 32 megabytes, even 8 megabytes. I see 64 megabytes. I'm not exactly sure how high they even go these days um, just because I haven't bought a hard drive in a while. <laughs> I mean, hard drives last forever, but. Uh, nowadays they're getting a lot into uh, SSDs and those are a whole different story with their cache and I'll probably be doing another I think I have one explanation video about SSDs versus hard drives or reverses but I'll be doing another explanation on exactly what an SSD is and how it how it works but for cache and this purpose it's all gonna be faster than traveling through your normal RAM now your RAM is gonna be I mean I don't know when you're watching this video but generally today every computer has at least like four gigs of RAM I mean that's a pretty decent amount I guess we can say I think you guys can agree four gigs I mean that's not bad I have eight gigs in my system just because all the editing I do in gaming and whatnot it just helps out but even with all that space in the RAM it's still gonna be slower processing than it would be through cache and that's why we have cache that's why if you're looking for a system um, that there, there's always that option of you know what kind of cache does this have now to be honest, it won't speed up your system insanely. Uh, I mean, it, you're not gonna, you probably won't even notice it, but uh, if you, unless it was like a complete, total opposites, best versus worst scenario. But if you're ever looking for a hard drive and it has 32 megabytes of cache and there's another one that costs 30 bucks more but has 64 megabytes, I would not waste my money uh, buying that because you're probably not gonna even realize the little amount of performance that you're going to get out of just having that small amount more of cash ready for your system to use and if you go into your web browser generally there's an option there you can set your cash uh, how much you want it to use and whatnot because it will use some of your space on your computer but it's <laughs> it's a minuscule amount these days with people in their terabyte hard drives I don't think you'll even recognize a difference in uh, how much space you're saving there but if you are on a budget and you have a small hard drive you might want to look into that I'm not sure who you are what you're doing but this is pretty much the entire wrap up of it if you have any questions you can uh, send me a message I'll be sure to get back to you you can comment as well but I might not see that uh, sometimes YouTube I don't know why but I don't see the comments apparently sometimes they don't get sent to me uh, but if you message me, definitely I will help you out with whatever you're deciding to buy. You can send me the two, whatever two computers. I've had people do that before, and then I choose which one I believe would be best for them. But in sum it all up, cache is a smaller and faster way for your computer to process information that it repeatedly goes through. Instead of reloading that same information, it'll temporarily store it into cache. And that memory is level 1, level 2, and level 3. All of them are faster than RAM. Level 1 is the fastest, but it has less room. And level 3 is the slowest, but it has a lot more room for storage. So that's pretty much it for cache, all summed up. And a lot of people pronounce it cache or something, but I've heard some catchy. I don't know. It's pronounced cache, like cash the money. That's how I've pronounced it. That's how I've seen it pronounced. That's even how I've read up on it pronounced uh, in, like, dictionaries. <laughs> So thanks for watching again, guys. If you don't understand anything or, or you know, if you don't understand something or you need to understand something else about it, please message me. I'd love to help you out with that problem. And I'll see you guys in my next video.